Feral Khan Mercenary Squad has a new assignment. They must learn how to combine and form Feral Rex. The aerial assaulter takes aim at his target. Be careful of Talon's dive bomb attack. Hello, this is Santa Ed here, and welcome to Feral Rex Week, where we'll be taking a look at all six components of Mastermind Creation's reformatted line, Feral Rex, and of course the combined mode on the seventh day. So each day this week, we'll be taking a look at a different Feral Con, and then taking a look at the combined mode at the end. So, let's begin with R02 Talon, Mercenary Aerial Assaulter. Now I'm going to do this week in the order of the numbers in the line. They came out in a different release order because some of them had to go back and get re-engineered to make things work better. For example, Talon here. Uh, and so the release schedule is a little different than the numbers, but... R02 Talon was the, I think, fourth to be released in the line when he was originally the first. As you can see, this is the packaging for the reformat line. Very nice box with a full color image of Talon. Um, and you got nice uh, images on each side. On the back, you can see Talon's various modes, plus his component for the combined mode, which looks very nice overall. And this would be a great box, but it gets even better as each of them have a magnetic clasp so you can open it up and you can see the figure inside. So you get reformatted, Zero Two Talon Mercenary with a nice artwork of him. Now I will say this, the little blades that normally store up here, be very careful when removing them. People did have issues of them breaking. They are very tightly in there, which is why I did not place them back in the box. But I love this, this idea of a third party uh, unofficial transformer that's, you know, $90. Yes, this guy is $90 having this open window look. It looks really nice and the magnets close really nicely. Now also included with each uh, Feral Con is an instruction book. Now, this instruction book is an instruction book but on the back side is a full comic. There's a comic talking about the battle for Mor Moritoros and it's from the perspective of each Feral Con for their respective issues. It's really neat, gives a little bit of lore behind the figures shows off their powers and abilities. I think it's overall a really cool inclusion. You also get a plastic trading card. This is a full plastic card with the artwork for Talon here. And you can see on the back, he's got stats of strength, intelligence, speed, endurance, cast, courage, firepower, and skill. You can see that there, plus a uh, panel from the comic along the top. Really, really cool inclusion. And every one of them comes with one of those, which is really, really neat. So that's pretty much the box. Let's take a look at Talon himself. Talon, the aerial salter, of course, is an eagle. Very appropriate, very predatory as well. Now, as an eagle, he's quite awesome. As you can see, he's got wings, claws, head, and all that. Now he is primarily orange with a Yolba yellow in his jetpack, as well as some black on the legs and some silver accents, which is pretty nice. You also have the gold here. Um, which looks really good. Now on the chest here, which is yellow, you can kind of see there is a little uh, cutout here. If you did want to place a Decepticon logo or a Predacon logo uh, using a Repro label or something similar, you could totally do that. The space is provided, which is really nice. Up here on the head, you can see that his eyes are painted yellow. And the overall head sculpt is quite awesome. Now, the most impressive part of this guy is not necessarily the smaller details, but the wings themselves. As you can see, these wings are incredible. They spread out quite far. As you can see, fully extended. They're nearly a foot uh, wide, which is just great. Plus, he's balanced. His claws are individually articulated, so he can actually balance himself uh, quite well. Now, as you can see, there is uh, some additional jointing in here along the edge, but that we're going to save for the combined mode. Now, along the back, and you also see that he does have this tail feather, uh, which does move slightly, but as it just kind of adds to the thing, it doesn't really help with the overall uh, configuration. Now, the wings can be removed because they are used later. So if you did want a wingless bird, there you go. You do have that option. You also could flip down this uh, peg here and plug it into his back if you want a more solid connection. But I kind of feel like it's a little bit overkill on this guy. Now, other than that, he is articulated. The wings do move out as well as rotate up with this neat bit of molding so that you don't have any disconnect. 
It's much appreciated. Plus they do flap, which is pretty nice. And you actually can get a pretty good range on these. Um, so that's really awesome. Now when you're looking at the legs, the legs can move in and out. Uh, the feet and talons can pivot as well as they are articulated each individual jointed, which is pretty nice overall. And his head is on a ball joint, plus it can lean forward quite far and it can point up as well as have the mouth open. So you can get some neat expressive poses out of this eagle. But other than that, he is pretty much an eagle, so he's the least articulated out of all the predator modes for the feral cons, as, well, he's an eagle. There's not much jointing you can do to this guy. Now, first of all, you can see these two arm guns are attached here, pointing up. You could point them forward if you want a more uh, assaulting eagle here as well as the ability to store his other weapons. A common theme throughout the Feral Cons is that all their weapons can be stored on their back. Now this can be stored here, it can also be plugged up here if you'd like, I kind of prefer to use that peg there. The swords as well can be attached onto his wings. So all of his parts that he does come with are all inclusive in his beast mode. You can store everything, which is just awesome. Now that's pretty much it for Eagle Mode. Before we go, I do want to bring in standard Deluxe Clash Transformer. Here we have the G1 Wrecker Alpha Bravo. You can see that Talon here does stand quite tall over Alpha Bravo. So for some, these may be a little large, but I think it works as the Predacons are always seen as large entities in the comics or the shows. So having them be larger than deluxes in beast mode is kind of cool. I think the larger size really works for them. But, as you can see, Talon is a nice size. Now, of course, Talon here does need to transform. Now, while it seems Talon's transformation was a simple stand-up, it's not. There's actually a little bit of intricacy to it, which is really, really appreciated. Now, Talon's robot mode here is quite awesome. He's very tall, he's very thin, very much looks like a sniper, which is his whole job because he's the aerial assaulter. Now looking at the figure itself, as you can see up here, the head features a head sculpt that looks very threatening. It's orange and red, fits the color scheme, plus you got the bird head right there on top, plus that neck joint from eagle mode is transferred over here, so he does have quite a bit of range. You can also convert this to look like that, which is more akin to the Generation 1 version, or you could totally flip this in and pull this back out, and now you have, you know, Eagle Man, the Talon lookalike, because that is an option. You can give him a beast head, which is actually an option with all the Feral Cons. It's, it's really neat, actually. Uh, nice little uh, design aesthetic there. I kind of like to give him the sort of hat look with the eagle head. Now, in terms of other articulation, his uh, wings, of course, are the same as eagle mode, but his shoulders here can rotate out on a ratchet joint, and 360, blocked by wings, ratchet, double-jointed elbow because of the transformation. You got a wrist joint here, does pivot in. His guns can be rotated around, which is nice. You have a torso joint where you can click forward on an ab crunch, a waist joint here, outward leg movement on a ratchet, forward leg movement on a ratchet, ratcheted knee, thigh swivel, a ball jointed ankle, as well as a toe joint, which is really neat. This guy can assume a lot of poses, but not a whole lot with just those little arm guns. In fact, I think we should take a look at some of his other weapons. Meet Talon's Laser Daggers. These are the small knives that we attached to his bird mode earlier. As you can see, they are quite nice with this curved blade look. You can have them hold it front or back grip, which is pretty nice overall. Now, they can actually plug onto the hips here, but it is a kind of a loose fit. But these pegs here will work there. Now, you could also switch it up even further by removing the arm gun and removing the dagger, and you can place it on his forearm here, which gives him a different look and allows him to slice things up, as well as carry an additional weapon. So that can come in handy too. That's not the only weapon he comes with. His signature weapon, the Particle Beam Sniper Rifle. 
as the aerial assaulter he likes taking out his enemies before they even see him, and that is his job on the team. Plus, he looks really, really good with this sniper rifle. In fact, he was redesigned slightly in order to make sure that he could actually hold the sniper rifle properly and be in a sniper pose. So that's pretty awesome. And it looks really good. This is typically how I display him as, honestly, as cool as the blades are, I'll always have him with the sniper rifle. If I don't have him with the sniper rifle, only I'll have him hold one blade, but it's typically I don't pose him with just the two blades. It's usually the sniper rifle and a blade, or some sort like that. Overall, this is one cool rifle. It's a very simple design, but it works really effectively, especially since the pegs are designed so you can hold at an angle, which is really appreciated. In conclusion, Talon is quite fantastic. Being one of the $90 Feral Cons, which yes, this price is $90, unofficial Transformers product, yada yada, he is fantastic. He comes with a lot of great accessories, as well as that wing pack, which is super cool. And he's fully articulated, fully transforms, and is better than most Transformers you see out there in the official market. In fact, look how much he towers over Alpha Bravo here quite awesome how big this guy is. He's about a Voyager-ish scale, maybe even an Ultra class almost. He's quite large and definitely was worth his cost. His material is solid, his joints are great, his transformation is fun, and he's a component for a combiner, which is just icing on the cake. And yes, we will take a look at his combiner mode, but when we actually look at the full combiner. Other than that, definitely recommend Talon. He's a great figure if you want another Decepticon in your Classics collection and need somebody with a sniper rifle. Not necessarily if you need the whole Predaking, but if you did want to get him just as a single figure, he's definitely worth it there. And I can definitely recommend him. So anyways, stay tuned for tomorrow as we will move on to the Supply Specialist known as Bovis. And until then, be sure to check out HeroTaku.com for all your Transformers news and more. And Tuxus, I'd say, goodbye.